All right, hello everybody, welcome back. If you guys didn't already know, you're new to the channel here. Starbucks is one of the biggest positions in my long-term dividend growth focused portfolio. I have an entire playlist on Starbucks. There's about 15 videos on there. So if you just wanna hear me talking about why I'm so bullish on the company, go check it out. I'll leave a link to it in the description box. But Starbucks is actually down about 20% from its all-time high this year at about $108, $110. And I think right now is a really, really appealing time long-term to buy Starbucks stock. Now, for me, in my opinion, as an investor, it is your job to be looking at reasons why stocks are trading down and determine whether it's short-term fads or it's actually an issue long-term. An example of an issue long-term would be like Walgreens and closing stores. But I believe right now, Starbucks has some really short to medium term issues on their hand. And they're actually some of the dumbest reasons that I've ever seen like investing in my short journey so far of like four years. So we're going to go over once again some of these reasons today. One of the big reasons that Starbucks is probably trading down right now, I'd say about half of why it probably actually is, is there's a lot of you know growth potential in China. That's where a lot of the hopeful returns are going to come from in the future. And there's a lot of uncertainty there right now, and a lot of investors don't like uncertainty. But also another huge reason that Starbucks is also trading down is the Palestinian boycotts around them. So essentially, to sum it up, basically, I did make a video about two weeks ago on this. So Starbucks, like any in a logical corporation, they're not going to come out and support either side in one of these wars, right? They're going to lose a customer base regardless. I think that's kind of the most obvious thing if you're rational and don't have a bias here. They're not going to come out and say they support Israel or Palestine. Why? Because you're going to lose a customer base on either side if you come out and support one. Any smart business would not operate that way. So unfortunately, the Starbucks unions took it into their hand to basically portray a really bad image on behalf of Starbucks and put Starbucks in a corner where they legit had to respond. So what happened, essentially, we're going to look at some TikToks today, the antidote for a happy mood, because I actually saw this come up on my page. You know, this is real stuff that's happening, you know, outside of the channel. I saw this come up on my TikTok page. So the unions who I've already talked a lot about this, but I think they're way out of their way to be complaining for a part time job, you know, looking for these crazy benefits. And I'm pro union too, like UPS teachers, um, nurses, all the stuff that, you know, our country relies on. I'm pro union. But I really do think that Starbucks workers are out of line. And I'm not just saying that because I'm a shareholder and that's probably eating away at my returns. I really do think that they're kind of out of line here. So essentially, the union tweeted on the union account that we come out and support Palestine. Starbucks removed that tweet, and they also are suing them for copyright and for or trademark infringement. They're suing them for something along those lines, and they have to because, you know, Starbucks does not want you portraying an image on behalf of the entire brand when it's probably 10 or 15 people who run that account or the union, right? So Starbucks, of course, is going to come out and sue them. So now a lot of people are just saying that Starbucks is pro-Israel and Starbucks did not come out once and say that they were pro-anything. A big reason for a lot of this is just, you know, these political organizations to find a big greedy corporation, a successful corporation that has $35 billion in revenue to attack and go after. And unfortunately, that's the name of the game. That's what a lot of that's the cool thing to do now these days is attack big, successful corporations that are really profitable and have a good operation going. So we're going to look at two TikToks today. I'll be sharing my thoughts. If you guys haven't already, make sure to smash the like button, subscribe. Let's get into it. TikTok, the ultimate antidote for a happy mood. Let's see this one. So this person is removing Palestinian flags and boycott flags, etc. Here outside Starbucks, Australia. All right, so the Palestinians were protesters, whatever, I don't know. They, it appears that they put a bunch of, you know, pro-Palestine flags on the, in front of a Starbucks and basically bombarded the store. Now, believe it or not, uh, we have a Starbucks near us, and people like to put a bunch of stickers, you know, on like the pole by the drive-thru or whatever. Believe it or not, they have to remove those. That's vandalism. It's vandalism. Believe it or not, it does not mean that they're pro-Israel if they're removing vandalism on one of their stores. So um, it's unfortunate, and they would do the same exact thing if it were pro-Palestine, if it were pro-Palestine, you know, sticker or whatever. That was one of the more stupid things that I saw, but this is the one that actually is pretty, you know, wild and mind-blowing. This is the one that came up on my page, and this one has 2.7 million likes, 107,000 comments. So this is, like, really making an impact, and this is could be potentially propaganda because a lot of people don't they they're not like me they don't 
you know, keep up with Starbucks news. They don't own shares of the company. They, they see something on the internet and they automatically, that changes the reputation of a company. So keep in mind, this has 2.7 million likes, probably more millions of views. And let's see. They got a pretty good beat going. I'm not even going to lie here. As somebody who was a Starbucks shareholder, this is a pretty good beat. All right. So I think it's absolutely wild that that video is 2.7 million likes. And I'm sure if I get 107,000 comments, like that's absolutely insane. Um, so the organization that posted this is within our lifetime. It is a pro-Palestinian organization. Now, I was also snooping around to do some lateral reading here, you could almost say, to kind of understand, you know, where they're coming from potentially. I couldn't find any like evidence of like why they're attacking them on their page. I also saw another video where they were like attacking like, they were going down New York because I'm not, I'm like 95% sure this is New York. It has to be, right? And <laughs> they were like going from like corporation to corporation. They were, it was like they were going from Starbucks to McDonald's to Nike. And they were like going down the entire like Magnificent Seven, you could almost say, in terms of restaurants. And it's just like, who isn't safe, you know? Um, so this kind of shows the power of social media and how fast negative sentiment can impact the company. Now, how much do I think boycotts are going to actually impact Starbucks? It could potentially quarter to quarter. Um, I don't think in China they really care where the crazy growth is coming from. I don't think the people in China really do care about organizations in the United States, you know, protesting in the streets of New York. Um, yeah, so I think this is a really, really good buying opportunity long term for the long term investor. Um how long could I potentially see this, you know, kind of sticking around, maybe being a bad stain on the company? I don't know, maybe a year or two. But I think if you know, the Israel-Palestine situation gets resolved, hopefully uh, more unlikely than likely, I think, you know, that's kind of how those wars are. And, you know, as I say, it's really your job as the investor to be determining whether these reasons that the stock is trading down are good. Um, negative sentiment around a company can be a bad thing or a good thing. Um, if the stock trades down way over, way below where it actually should properly trade at, look at a company like Target. They had a lot of bad sentiment back in June, July. Look where it's at now. It's at $170. Nobody really remembers that. Um, so I, it's as an individual stock picker slash investor, you got to really pick your spots here and do a lot of due diligence. I believe this is a really good short to medium term buying opportunity if this kind of negative sentiment, um, you know, kind of goes, you know, against the company. Um, from the recent earnings reports, this video was posted in November. It doesn't appear that this really impacted the earnings. They had record revenue, they had more members growth. So I will take all the negative sentiment around the company right now as long as they stay qualitatively amazing, which they have been doing so far. So that's my two cents in Starbucks right now. We are going to be buying more on this dip. I really like it at these prices. If it got into the 70s, guys, I'm already really concentrated into it. Like, I think I'm about maybe eight or 9% of the portfolio. I have roughly like $2,000 worth right now. Uh, geez, man. Like, if it got into the 70s, like, I might have to drop another thousand or two on it. Like, it, it's a really good buying opportunity. Some people have fair price in their little TCF models at around like 100 20 130 dollars i even saw 150 at the high of like analyst expectations but f the analysts honestly so honestly i think this is a really good buying opportunity long term bring in all the negative sentiment starbucks qualitatively is doing fine all right thank you guys for watching smash the like button subscribe and of course do dividend stocks not drugs have a good one thank you all for watching